Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wash this pan out. Just, uh, just to get any gunky stuff off. And... See how it does. Put the camera so you can see it a little bit better. And it says you can wash, use soap on it, but I, like I said, I wouldn't recommend doing this. Um, a lot in the beginning until you've built up some layers of seasoning on it. But this is Dawn. It's very mild, and I wouldn't use anything uh, too acidic with lemon in it. Just want to kind of wash it out. We're going to rinse it with warm water. And we're going to go ahead and just see how it does. Okay, not bad. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I never like to, you know, cook out of, even if I'm buying a regular new pan. We're going to go ahead and just dry it off. And what I'm going to go ahead and do, and this is how I normally wash my skillets, except they don't use the uh, uh, soap. It's like it's cleaning it up a little bit better where there's less gooey stuff or whatever. Um, got my rag in the water there. I don't want to do that. So we're going to go ahead and just make sure it's dry on the countertop here. And we're going to go ahead and just... Uh, we're actually going to attempt to cook with it just like that. And it'll... it'll uh, dry off as I heat up the skillet. So I will be back when I have my ingredients ready. I'm going to do an omelet for you. Okay, guys, I am back and I'm going to go ahead and make the omelet. This has been heating up for about three to four minutes and it should be warm enough now to make our omelet. So we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to make sure that I got sufficient oil this time. And I'm also going to put in Oops, a pat of butter, and we're just going to go ahead and get that all going, and to see what happens the first time out with this, and what we're going to do is just going to go ahead and put in three eggs and a little bit of milk, and you can hear that, oh, I love that sound, when you pour it in, the skillet's already heated up. Go ahead and get it out with the spatula. And I'm going to go ahead and let that set up for, oh, I don't know, about 30 seconds or so at least. You want it to start cooking. The biggest mistake people make with cast iron um, cooking is they don't let their eggs set up or, you know, things like pancakes, waffles. you got to give it enough time to start, you know, forming that toughened outer coat and whatever it is, that way it won't stick to your cast iron. So, but this is the first time I've actually cooked in this skillet, so we're going to see how it does. And you've seen a number of my videos where I cook pretty, for the most part, flawlessly in my vintage cast iron. And, of course, the handle is still very doable. Okay, it's starting to... Okay, we're going to go ahead and just pull it away from the sides and let it come down. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a vegetarian omelet, well, actually vegetable cheese and ham omelet. And this is actually my breakfast. Okay, you can see it with an air pocket there. Okay, go ahead and get that. Okay, now it seems to be non-stick, but it's got to set up a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and hit 
there we are. Seems a little less cooked over there. It's the way my stove top is, sets. Okay, now it's cooking. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is add some pepper. And we're going to add some shredded American cheese. I like American cheese sometimes in my omelets because it melts really good. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And we're going to go ahead and put in vegetables. Sometimes when I make omelets, I cook these ahead of time, but I figured I'd just go ahead, because I've never tried this skillet before, go ahead and do it this way. And I'm going to go ahead and put in some ham. I chopped it up really small. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little barbecue sauce, because that's how I like my omelets. You guys may like ketchup. You can do almost anything that you want, but I figured, you know, I'm going to go ahead and make this. All right, now, we are going to go ahead, I probably should have put it on the other side. Look at that. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> excellent. So this is a chef skillet. And again, the reason why I got this is I've been looking for a Wagner vintage chef skillet, and I just can't find one. So this handle I can still uh, do. And just make sure this is going to slide. Yep, slide back and forth on the skillet. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. And here it is. It's going to slide it right out of the pan. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh. It slid almost too good. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that skillet is a definite winner. Yeah, the omelet looks uh, kind of trifolded there by accident. I got a little bit of grapes to go with it in my omelet. Uh, just trying to eliminate my unnecessary carbohydrates for a while. And that's a three egg omelet with ham, cheese, green pepper, onion, and a little bit of grapes. And the skillet is a winner. All right, guys, give me a thumb up if you like videos like this. Leave a comment or question below. Thanks for watching, and go make it a great rest of your day.